Hi everyone, Michael here. Today, we are going to look at how you can control and mirror your Android phone from your Windows PC, Mac, or Linux. Best of all, it's completely free, requires no installation, and you can connect through USB cable or over Wi-Fi with no lag. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Here I am on my phone. The first thing I will want to do to set up screen copy is scroll down to settings. It might not be down here for you, but it is your blue and white gear icon. Click on that. Then scroll down again to the bottom where it says about phone. It'll tell you whatever model phone you have. Click on that. Once again, some more scrolling all the way down to the bottom once more, and you will find build number. You will click on this seven times. It might feel a little clunky at first, but once you've completed clicking on it seven times, a notification will pop up that says developer options enabled. Once that's done, nothing on this screen will change. You'll want to go back to the previous screen and search for developer options. I've already typed it in once before, so it's here in my history. I will click on this. I will scroll down again just a little bit more until I see the debugging menu and I want to enable USB debugging. By default, this toggle is set to off, but I have turned it on. I want your phone to look just like this with the toggle turned on. Once you have done all of these settings, make sure that your PC and your phone are on the same network and then plug in the USB connector to your phone that is connected to your computer. Now that your phone is all configured, we want to download something called SCRCPY, which is short for screen copy. You can get it at GitHub at the card up here or down below in the description. Here we are on the screen copy GitHub page where we are going to download this open source software that allows us to control and mirror our Android devices using our PC. I'm going to scroll past all of this extra information until I get down to the portion that says get the app. I'm running a Windows PC right now. I'll click Windows. There are two different versions. I'm gonna choose Windows 64-bit, that's the most common. And it's important to note that although I am downloading something, I'm not actually installing anything. I'm just going to be running a file. Now that I've downloaded the file, it should appear in your downloads area. I would like you to find the folder, which is a zip, right click it, click extract all. This should open a con an entirely new folder for you. Go inside of there and we're looking for the no console.vbs file here and we're going to double click on that. Next on your Android phone, after you've clicked this, check for a prompt that will ask you to allow your phone to be connected to your PC. Once you've clicked that, you may need to come back here and click this no console.vbs a second time. And just like we talked about earlier, I am now able to see my Android phone on my large PC monitor. I can use this mouse to select icons, click into things. I can use the keyboard to type. For example, I want to search for cookies. I can also do things like play games. Here, I'm gonna choose one of my favorites, Designer City 2. Here I am inside of one of my favorite games, Designer City 2, one of the things I use to pass the time quite a bit. What's amazing is I can hear all the sound effects and the music from the game. I'm using my mouse right now to scroll around. I can zoom in using the arrow keys and zoom out as well. It's really a cool feature. Once I've spent enough time playing my game and I no longer want my Android connected to my PC, I can close out the window up at the top right by clicking close. The nice thing is there's nothing behind on my computer except for the files we downloaded earlier. There's been nothing installed. This is all open source. You can always reconnect your phone to your PC by simply clicking on this no console.vbs. Screen copy has a host of features such as screen recording, shortcuts, and adjusting the bitrate. Let's take a deeper look at how those things work right now. Here we are back in the file explorer. Next, I want to open a file called open a terminal here.bat. This lands us in a command terminal. Don't feel too overwhelmed, it's not all that daunting. I will show you how to use this. We will first type in SCRCPY, then with a space dash dash help. Then we will execute that by clicking enter on our keyboard. Boy, that gives us a lot of text on the screen. Don't worry, don't be overwhelmed. All this is showing us is the myriad types of options and shortcuts that are available to use through your keyboard so you don't have to do it on your phone. At the top here, we have options. 
The way to use these is to use the double dash here at the end, append it to an scrcpy command and hit enter. You can do things like and change, uh, change the codec that you're using or the bitrate value. Additionally, a little bit lower, there is a full list of shortcuts you can use. Here we can easily switch to full screen mode. The MOD here actually represents the Alt key on my keyboard. One of the coolest things we can do is actually record our screen, and I will show you how to do that right now. To enter in a new argument, I'm going to go back down to the bottom of the command terminal and type in SCRCPY for screen copy, the product we're using, then space, then dash R for record, that's the argument to record. Next, I will name it gameplay. And what I mean by it is the file that I'm creating. So this will be the name of the recording and then the type of file that it will be, which will be an MP4. I will hit enter. Here I am back on my phone. And because I use that dash R argument in the command terminal, I'm actually recording all of the movements I'm making here on my screen. Once I'm finished with recording, I will click the red X up here at the top to close everything out. Back in the command terminal, I can see that everything has completed recording. Here in File Explorer, I can see the MP4 file. Wired gives you the best possible performance, but if you want to move around and have freedom, you can also use Wi-Fi. Here we are once again in the File Explorer. To enable Wi-Fi, we are again going to click on open a terminal here dot bat. Here we are in the command terminal. We are going to use one of those helpful arguments we saw in the help list earlier. The one we want to use is scrcpy space dash dash TCP IP. This shows us the IP address of our phone. We're going to run that. Now that it's identified the IP address of my phone, I'm going to want to look at my phone where there's a prompt that says allow. I will click allow. Then I will disconnect my phone from the USB cable. I will want to rerun the command or the argument we just ran. You can actually press up on your keyboard. It will bring back the last command you used and you can press enter. And just like that, we can see our phone through Wi-Fi. And there you have it, an easy solution to allow you to mirror and control your Android device from your computer. I hope it worked out well for you. Please let me know how it went down below in the comments, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video.